Hello, today we will talk about alpha fetoprotein test. What is alpha fetoprotein? What is meant by alpha fetoprotein test? Why is it done? How is it done? About this, some basic information I shall give you. What is alpha fetoprotein? Alpha fetoprotein is a protein which is normally produced by unborn baby in yolk sac and liver. This protein may be abnormally produced in certain liver cancers. What is alpha fetoprotein test? By this test, we can know the amount of alpha fetoprotein in the blood of the patient. Why is this test done? This test is a part of normal screening of pregnant females as a triple marker test in pregnancy. Also, this test may be done as a tumor marker when suspicion of certain cancers like liver cancer is there. This test may also increase in certain non-cancerous conditions of liver like hepatitis and cirrhosis. If the patient is a known case of liver cancer, then this test may be performed as a part of monitoring of the patient. How is this test done? For this test, a blood sample is required which is usually collected from the arm of the patient. Is there any special instruction that is given before the test? No, usually no special instruction is given before the test. The samples can be taken at any time as per convenience of the patient. What are normal values of alpha fetoprotein? The normal values for alpha fetoprotein in adult males and females is 40 micrograms per liter. If alpha fetoprotein is done as a part of monitoring in pregnancy patients, then a higher levels may indicate neural tube defect. On the other hand, lower levels may indicate congenital diseases like Down syndrome or Edward syndrome. But more commonly, the causes of deranged alpha fetoprotein in pregnancy are just abnormal dating of pregnancy. If the levels of alpha fetoprotein are abnormal, then what next should be done? If the levels of alpha fetoprotein are abnormal, in pregnant females, then this does not necessarily mean any birth defect. Rather, it only indicates that proper history, physical examination and radiological examination should be done. If there is a doubt of birth defect, after all this, then invasive techniques like amniocentesis may be required for confirmation of diagnosis. If this test is done as a part of tumor marker, then if the single test is positive, it does not mean that cancer is necessarily present in the person. However, it only means that a proper physical examination and radiological examination should be performed. If required, FNAC and biopsy should be done for confirmation.